Hi guys, so long time no see. I feel like I say that quite often nowadays, but it really has been probably like two, three weeks. It's probably been a month, honestly. I haven't really been keeping track of how long it's been since you've seen my face. Um, I am in my new apartment. We are here. I'm not too sure quite yet where I want to film, so for right now I'm just kind of sitting in a corner where it's like super natural lighting and I'm not too sure if you can hear the air conditioning or not it's kind of loud but it's very hot in here so I kind of want to keep it on so if you can hear it I'm sorry but today I yeah again I'm sorry again I haven't really been filming any videos I have a butt ton of excuses moving pregnant <laughs> sick like there's so many I've constantly been sick and you guys will definitely for sure get that explanation in this video because I am doing a collective 5 through 10 week pregnancy update. I'm not going to be doing them like like this for instance because I know this video is going to be super duper long of collective weeks. I do want to consistently upload them every Wednesday because that's my rollover day. I'm uploading this on Monday which is when I am like 10 weeks and 5 days so I will include 10 weeks in this so that way I can upload it then but I do want to consistently upload these on Wednesdays so next Wednesday you will see my 11 week pregnancy symptom update. Hopefully. I do not want to take any more breaks from YouTube. I love YouTube. You guys know that so, so much. Um, and I really just want to consistently upload. And I've, I've just been so sick that it's been honestly such a hassle, honestly, to get ready to sit down and film. And the air conditioner is off, so that's perfect. So I hope this lighting's okay. It seems really, really bright. <clears throat> but um, honestly, I feel like this is the best I can do for right now. Um, at least for this video, because I just want to sit in the chair. It's so comfy. But um, anyway, so like I said, I'm doing my 5 through 10 weeks collective pregnancy update for you guys. Like I said, this video is going to be super duper long because I am covering a month and a week for you. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started, talk about symptoms, any exciting things that have happened. Of course, at the end, I will show you my 10 week bump date, I guess. I want to start doing them now because I was catching you guys up and my stomach was a lot bigger than when it was when I first found out. So I will show you at 10 weeks. I also want to quickly let you know that I did end up starting my blog. I want to do a corresponding blog post to this video because I've already done two blog posts already. I will link it down below. I love it so, so much. Thank you so much, Andrea, for helping me with it. All right, that's it. This video is already super long. I'm sweating. Let's just get started. So last time you guys saw me, I was giving you my four week update and honestly four weeks was probably my prime as far as pregnancy goes because I really had no like severe symptoms. After that, it was literally all downhill. I have been constantly sick this first trimester has seriously kicked my butt and I just, it's been, it's been so hardcore. Like it's not even fun. Like I definitely did not picture pregnancy to be like this. So it's honestly like I feel like my pregnancy is like a horror story for pregnancies because like I'm just so sick all the time. So five weeks pregnant, like I said, four weeks was great. Five weeks I hit like a brick wall. Like honestly the day I turned five weeks, I was so unbelievably sick, you guys. I've, it was just, it was so awful. I had the worst nausea ever still do nausea is going to be one of those reoccurring symptoms but um yeah i had the worst nausea it was absolutely awful it actually started while i was at work i felt like and it's not like oh i think i'm gonna throw up oh my stomach hurts a little bit it's like i'm gonna throw up right now this is happening i don't even want to move from the bed because i feel like i'm gonna throw up type of nausea and i've consistently had it just about every single day and it has not been like a morning sickness type thing or like a certain like nighttime thing it's literally been from when i've opened my eyes in the morning to when i close them when i go to bed and it's honestly been so irritating because it's so sick so five weeks is when i first started noticing that i was getting really severe nausea i was also super duper tired i was very fatigued um, my boobs were still very sore and like i said because i was so nauseous i was so i was very irritable like honestly like if anybody would talk to me i'd be like no like don't talk to me i don't feel good i don't want to look at you like don't breathe my air like i am so sick and like, I'm one of those people that gets like kind of embarrassed when I throw up. So I don't like want anyone around me when I think I'm gonna throw up. And that's the kind of thing I was feeling. So five weeks, I was five weeks and six days. That was probably, this is probably the most exciting thing during my five week period. Um, I actually went to the ER because I was so sick. Um, it was to the point where I would get in the car and like I would get motion sickness too So my nausea was just completely taking over and Brian had like pretty much had enough of it He was like this is not happening like you're not gonna be sick like this all the time You need to eat because I wasn't eating because 
I didn't want to eat. I was scared I was going to throw it up, so I wasn't eating. So we went to the ER, and we were there for like maybe an hour. Well, actually, we were there for like four hours, but it felt like it went by very, very fast, um, which is not typical for an ER. So we were there, and I also found out that I was pretty dehydrated as well, so they put two saline bags in me, which I kind of felt great after that. Like, I peed so much after that. Like, this is very TMI. But, um... Yeah, after that I was fine. They gave me some medicine to help with the nausea. And at first it absolutely did help. Like, I would take it, like, once, maybe every couple of days. And it would definitely help. But um, as I've been noticing, as the weeks have progressed, um, I ha it hasn't really been helping at all. Like, honestly, there's a few things that have been helping, but the medicine definitely was not helping. So, that was my five weeks. So, then when I rolled over to six weeks, I was actually technically in the ER when I rolled over to six weeks. But um, again, I was still very nauseous, I was fatigued, my boobs were still sore. I started noticing that I was getting headaches. Um, I still have them, but not as often. But I was getting pretty bad headaches during six weeks. I, that Six weeks is when I noticed that I was starting to pee a lot more. Um, because, you know, when people are pregnant, you typically think they go to the bathroom all the time. And before that, I really hadn't been going to the bathroom as often as... I mean, it was just I was going to the bathroom as often as normal. Um, I started noticing that I was going to the bathroom a lot more, like I would wake up in the middle of the night to just like stumble to the bathroom. So I started noticing that during six weeks. Um, and I also had quite a few cramps, which was really weird. They were really, um, like short, like they were, they were very painful, but they were short and like in between. I had them in my back and then once I had one in my stomach and I'm pretty sure it's because my uterine wall is stretching to kind of adjust to fit the baby. So, um, I was getting quite a few cramps. But nothing to be like worried about, I think. So I was cramping. And then I had a couple of cravings, which was weird. They weren't like pregnancy, excuse me. They weren't like pregnancy cravings where like I would kill for them. But I was like definitely wanting them. And one of them was red ring pops, like specifically the red ones. I really wanted those. And Smithfield's barbecue sandwiches. And if you've never had a Smithfield's barbecue sandwich, it's delicious, very southern barbecue coleslaw. And I had it and I devoured it. And it was. It was amazing. It was probably the best sandwich I'd had in a very long time, and I was very excited about that. And then moving on to seven weeks pregnant, again, I had noticed that I was tired. I was still nauseous often. Um, I was peeing a lot, like I said, and then I was starting to get those like vivid, scary nightmares that people were talking about. And I'm talking like the type of nightmares where I don't know if I'm asleep or if I'm awake. I couldn't quite figure it out, and they were so vivid that like I woke up like freaking out like I was having like the worst nightmares like every night well kind of I'm still having them but not as often but every night that week I would go to bed and I would have a nightmare I would not have a good dream whatsoever um, and they were scary I didn't like them at all another thing that I was noticing is that I was waking up and I'm still kind of doing this but not as often as I was the past or not the past two weeks but the seven week mark I was waking up with a bloody nose um like bloody this is really gross but like bloody snot um, and it was a lot of it. And it was really scary to me because I was like, why is my nose bleeding? This is really weird. So I called my mom and I asked my mom about it. And my mom said that typically when I was younger and the weather would change, I would get bloody noses. So I don't know if it had something to do with maybe the humidity was getting to me because it was starting to get super hot at that point. Like it was starting to finally hit like 90 to 100 degrees. Uh, but I was waking up with like bloody snot and it was disgusting and I asked my doctor about it too and they pretty much said it was okay. Like it's not a big deal. So... There's that. And then another thing, uh, especially with the nose thing, I started getting my bionic nose um, at this point. And it was, this was like the worst week for me too because I was still really nauseous. And this is when we were still living at Brian's dad's house. And Brian's dad's like a master chef. He likes to cook. He likes to make like a bunch of like smorgasbord types of things. And this week he was marinating chicken and the chicken, the marinade he was using was like a mixture of like the most disgusting spices I've ever smelled in my entire life. And he made like a bunch of them and like put them in Tupperware containers. And every day someone in the house would heat one up and I would smell it upstairs and I would want to vomit. Like it smelled so bad and I just... <sighs> Like, thinking about the way it smelled makes me want to pull my hair out because it literally smelled so awful. And, like, I just... Oh, it's Brian. But it smelled so awful, and I just wanted to throw up. It was it was the worst. I hated it so much. So during seven weeks is when I started noticing that I was getting more constipated. Um, this is going to be a reoccurring thing. I will talk about it a little bit later. But, yes, I was getting constipated. And I also noticed that I was starting to bloat a little more, which... 
happens. You kind of tend to grow a belly. So I was bloating a little bit more at seven weeks as well. Then moving on to eight weeks pregnant on the exact day of my eight weeks pregnant mark, I had a doctor's appointment, my first doctor's appointment. Uh, Brian and I were really excited about it, but it actually turned out to be just paperwork. So it wasn't interesting. I was there for about an hour doing paperwork and it was really dumb. And it wasn't dumb. It was, I mean, it's meant to happen, but it was just paperwork. So that was our first doctor's appointment. Oh, and then here comes the air conditioning. Um, also symptoms, kind of basically the same things, the nausea, frequent urination. I was also starting to get dry, chapped lips. I Actually, this is when I started getting them because I still have them now. Like any amount of chapstick I use will not get rid of the dryness or the chappedness. My lips are constantly dry or chapped and it's not even like fun anymore. It hurts. Um, again, constipation and bloating. <laughs> fun stuff. Nine weeks pregnant, so this was last week when I was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, symptoms were again a frequent urination. A lot of these things are probably going to be the same. I was again having dry chapped lips. I was bloating. This is when I started noticing that I was getting a little bit of a belly. Um, I again nausea. I had absolutely no energy at this week. Like I literally didn't want to do anything uh, but lay in bed. Like I just had no energy during nine weeks. Um, I wasn't feeling great at all and it was just, it was awful. And then also um, major constipation. I will again explain all of this now. And then now I am 10 weeks, like I said, 10 weeks and 5 days. At my 10 week appointment, because I had my appointment on exactly 10 weeks again, it's funny how that fell. So my 10 week appointment went really well, I'll talk about that in a minute, but again, symptoms have pretty much been the same. Nausea, bloating, constipation, frequent urination, dry chapped lips, um, can't think of anything else other than that. To kind of help curb the nausea, I've been eating, which kind of sounds weird, but for the most part, I can't tell if I'm hungry or nauseous. So whenever I start to feel sick, I kind of like munch on something. It's not like snacks or anything. Like typically, like today, I felt nauseous, so I had some Rice Krispies for breakfast, the Rice Krispie cereal. And then I started to feel nauseous a little bit later, so I had a banana. And then right now I'm feeling a little bit nauseous, but I don't want to eat anything quite yet, so I'm eat, drinking some Sunny D to kind of help, kind of curb the nausea. So that's what I've been doing. I've been trying not to take the medicine because I don't want to take it. Um, I only take it when I feel like absolutely sick to my stomach, I'm about to throw up sort of situation. And a lot of things that have been helping me as well are like the little peppermint, um, like hard candies. Those are really nice. Like any sort of peppermint has really been helping as well. I tried ginger ale. I don't like ginger ale, so I really wasn't having it. It wasn't working for me. Um, another major symptom that I was having was constipation. I know this is very TMI, but I mean, it was bad like I was backed up you guys like it hurt and like the other day I finally like let it all out and it, it took me like two hours and it hurt so bad like I literally was like crying and I called my mom like <laughs> during and I was like mom it hurts so bad and like half the time I really just want to take a laxative and let it all out but I'm not going to do that obviously so it's been kind of crazy um, like I said, I've been noticing some bloating. I was bloating around like seven to eight weeks. My, my parents actually came down to visit. They had like a little beach house for a weekend and I stayed with them. And um, we went to the beach and my mom definitely noticed that I had a little bit of a belly. Because you guys know, I'm a very like skinny person anyway to begin with. Like I was, I've always been like very like stick thin, which is fine. Like I don't really care. Um, so I, I definitely have a little bit of a belly now and it's definitely gotten harder. Um, and I've been noticing that it's not as big in the mornings, but definitely throughout the day it starts to grow and it gets definitely a lot bigger when I go to bed at night. Uh, but I have been sleeping very good, which is really nice. And I honestly don't think I'm going to get any maternity clothes. Um, I'm probably just going to wear, especially because I'm going to be huge during the winter time, probably just massive sweatshirts and yoga pants. I'll probably have to get a couple yoga pants in like bigger sizes, but that's fine with me because I wear those typically all the time anyway, so I don't have an issue with that. Um, if I'm going to get maternity pants, it might just be like maybe one or two pairs of jeans with the little band because I have been noticing that my skinny jeans are like <laughs> the little buttons about to pop out when I wear them. So I'm definitely going to do that. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about the 10 week doctor appointment. That was probably the 
coolest experience Brian and I have both ever had. We both talk about it all the time because we were just so excited about it. Um, so we went to the 10-week doctor appointment. I got weighed. I've gained so far in my pregnancy five pounds, which is good, actually. Five pounds is a good thing, so I've gained five pounds, which is awesome. Um, I'm really excited about it. I'm on the right track, which is good. I've been eating. I haven't been losing weight, thank God, because I thought I was for the longest time because I wasn't eating. But everything seems to be good. Um, I look, the doctor, <laughs> I about said I look good. The doctor said I look okay. Everything looks okay. Um, but basically, the appointment was kind of just a rundown of my symptoms and things like that. But then we did our first ultrasound. For some strange reason, we didn't get to hear the heartbeat. I'm not sure why we didn't do that. Um, I'm thinking about buying like a Doppler or something so I can hear it personally because I would love to be able to hear my child's heartbeat. I'll probably ask to hear it next appointment. Uh, but we had our ultrasound and it was actually very scary at first. Uh, the doctor was pressing on my stomach for, I want to say, about two, three minutes and we didn't see anything. And that definitely scared me because I'm like, why am I not seeing anything? What's what's not in there? The doctor wasn't saying anything, but I knew, like, Brian and I, we've been together for a long time now. We can kind of, like, communicate just by looking at each other. So I kind of, like, gave him a look, and he was, like, looking at me the same way. We were really concerned because we weren't seeing anything. And I don't know, every ultrasound I've ever been to with my mom or with anyone, really, the, the baby's been there, like, right away. So I was definitely very concerned, and I was really scared. But right when I was getting to the peak of, like, losing hope, a little head popped up, and I oh, so relieved, you guys. I was like, thank God. I was so relieved, too, because it was just one baby and not two. That was my worst fear. I, I love twins. I think twins are adorable, but I am not prepared for twins. I could not do it. So um, I'm so happy it's just one, one baby, and I'm really happy about it. Um, but yeah, our baby is still very small. It's the size of a prune right now, and um, the, ba the, the baby, the doctor was pressing on my stomach for quite a while, and I think the baby was maybe asleep or something because he was, or he, she, whatever. I don't know the gender yet. I'm not going to know the gender for a while. But um, it just wasn't really moving. The baby wasn't. It was just kind of laying there, kind of just, I don't know. It wasn't asleep. I couldn't really see its face, but I'm assuming it was asleep because it wasn't really doing anything, and its back was to us for the majority of the time, but we did see the heartbeat. Um, we did kind of get to see like a little bit of facial features because they're not quite formed yet. And um, the doctor was taking the pictures and at like the last second, like the doctor was like, I want to get like a better picture. So he started like pressing a little bit harder on my stomach and it didn't hurt me whatsoever, but it like really pissed off our child. Like the baby was so mad. It started like rolling around in circles like flapping its little nubs around like it was so upset and that was like the coolest experience though because I've never seen that happen on an ultrasound like every time I've ever seen an ultrasound the baby just kind of like lays there so just seeing it move was so strange but so interesting and it was like it was just the coolest experience Brian and I were so happy we were smiling the entire time and we couldn't stop talking about its little nubs flapping around it was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my whole life so yeah, that's pretty much been it for the past five weeks of catching you guys up. Hopefully this video was not super long, but the next few weeks' videos shouldn't be as long as this one. I am going to show you guys my stomach, so I'm going to scoot this back, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to me if you're not already. I pinky promise you I will start doing more videos. I plan to sit down and film a couple right now, so hopefully I can get that done. I love you guys. I'm back. I promise. And I will see you guys in a little bit. Enjoy my belly. Bye. So don't mind the sweatpants because clearly I film with sweatpants on. Here's what the stomach looks like. Again, a flowy shirt so you can't really see much of anything. I'll turn this way. This way will probably be a lot easier. You can't really see much of anything. But there it is. Got a little pooch right here. It comes up like that. That's about it.